So despite my knee problems, which thankfully are starting to get better, and um, other such mood issues, I had seen something on social media today that I really felt the need to talk about. And there was a tweet that was put out by the National Review's David French that said the following. Trump's evangelicals, watch us do intellectual backflips to argue that policy trumps character and national leaders. Papal partisans hold our beer. Now, I can understand David's perspective here, and it is pretty interesting to see people who are on the left and consider themselves to be Catholics but probably aren't practicing to constantly twist themselves in knots to defend the Pope while there is an allegation that he helped cover up for a cardinal who was involved in all of the sexual deviancy and assault that was going on within a certain sect of the Catholic Church. Now, what that situation brings up and what David's assumption here about Christians and Trump brings an interesting thought to mind for me. And this is one thing that I struggled with for a very long time. And I think a lot of other believers do still struggle with, but it never really gets talked about in the open. I asked a question to David that I would love to have an answer from him about. I do have a lot of respect for David French. I have a respect for a lot of writers at the National Review. I disagree with them on a great many things, but if nothing else, they are able to put forward concrete arguments and they're willing to have discussion. So my question is this. If I have Christ as my moral example, the Son of God, why would I look to a politician as well? And that's, that's an interesting thought, I would think, or at least a place to have a discussion. Because what is Christianity based on? And by extension, what is Judaism based on? Well, the following of Yahweh God. Well, what is God? In his essence, he is, flat out is. He is. It is a... Um, an absolute statement of superiority and authority. So, if I acknowledge that God is... Actually, let's, let's back up a second. If I acknowledge as a Christian... The uh, necklace isn't just for show. If I acknowledge as a Christian that God is omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent, benevolent, and sent his son as a basically a part of himself to earth to die to take sin and the um, from me and the initiate an ability to be forgiven without sacrifice to simply come to the cross and say forgive me for I have sinned why on earth do I need people why and, and let me tell you how I came to the conclusion of the fact that I don't so I have had many spiritual leaders in my life. My father, um, another individual who is now a pastor at the church I go to on Sundays, um, and there are other people in my life as well that have, you know, I have followed spiritually that are that are friends of mine, and they have all let me down in one way or another. I had other friends whose lead I followed, and they all let me down. Now, here is the problem with looking only to people for spiritual leadership and guidance instead of allowing them to point you to a source, which is the exact same problem I have with the, with the, um, the papacy when it comes to Catholicism. The main reason I'm not a Catholic is if you start looking at humans as a barrier to the divine, as if they are the key that unlocks the door, you are missing the point. They are not the key that unlocks the door. They can point you to where the door is. But a lot of things in life can point you to where the door is. And that person doing the pointing is just as fallible as the person that they are directing. Just as fallible. And that is something that I had to learn. And that is why I try to warn people. If somebody confesses that they love Jesus... That does not mean that they are not as much of a sinner as the prostitute on the street who does not take the bedroom as something as sacred or 
the drug addict, or anything along those lines. We are just as much of sinners. Romans 3.23 says, We have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. I do not put my faith in people because people fail. They will fail you at one point or another. That's why your faith cannot be based upon humanity. It should never be based upon humanity. Ever. It should be based on the source of all things, and that is God. And that is something that I think that a lot of people tend to ignore when it comes to when leadership is chosen, especially politically. Here's a really good example. If I were in Missouri, I would have voted in the Republican primary for Austin Peterson instead of Joshua Hawley, who ended up getting the nomination. By the way, if I sat down and I discussed religion with Austin Peterson, he would say, I don't believe a word that you say. Why? Austin Peterson is an atheist. But, this is a pretty well-sized but, like the one that's attached to me, he respects my rights as a religious man. And that is why I would have voted for him to represent me. I do not look at political figures to be spiritual leaders or moral leaders. I expect them to do a job that I hired them for. And if I want them to respect what I do behind closed doors, I'm going to give them the same benefit. Donald Trump, morally speaking, by no means the best human being in the world. But he takes up for my rights as a religious man. And he continues to do so for people all across the country. And that's why I will vote for him again in 2020. And this is the divide that people just don't understand. I'm not shutting my eyes to what Donald Trump has done in the past. But his sins are between him and God. And if I were to base voting on whether or not someone's a sinner or levels of sinner, which I don't really believe there are, I'd never vote. No one would. Maybe that's the smart thing to do. I don't know. That's a different debate, though. When it comes to spirituality, when it comes to my relationship with Christ, I don't think about other people anymore as my guide to him. He is my guide. He is the light. Not the pastor, not the spiritual group leader, not the pope, not the bishop, not the cardinal, not anybody. Men fail. God does not. God is good. All the time. And I think that that is something about the spiritual life of human beings that needs to be understood. Because oftentimes it is the people whose faith fails that had faith more so in humanity than God himself. I will never base my beliefs on what the president does behind closed doors. I will base them on the truth of God. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Micah Curtis. See you next time. Davis Volt.